from the WHIO Broadcast Center in high definition, this is News Center 7. A former Dollar General employee only talked with News Center 7 about the company's ongoing struggle to match prices on the shelves with the prices at the registers. Good evening, I'm James Brown. I'm Cheryl McHenry. This after an I-Team investigation found several stores in Montgomery County failed price match inspections. At News Center 7's Mike Campbell is live sharing this person's perspective on what's going on inside these stores. Mike? And James, we are at a store in the Kettering area. This store failed their initial inspection, as did 21 other Dollar General stores across the county. They'll all need to be checked again. But we talked, as you mentioned, with a former employee who told us that the blame should not be placed on the employees and the in-store managers, but really higher up the management chain. They put their employees through way more than they should. Linda Swank worked for Dollar General for four years. She said one day a week is supposed to be devoted to price matching work. There's a thing called Super Tuesday, and that's nothing's supposed to be done on that day until after price changes are done. There's a small problem with that plan, though. The people that are supposed to do the price changes also have to wait on customers, stock shelves, and clean the store, plus answer the phones. You said that they, a lot of times they won't allow a store to have more than two employees at a time? Never. I mean, sometimes on truck day. But truck day is not on Tuesday. Swink told me she worked at several different stores and she could walk into a nightmare of hundreds of pages of price changes that needed to be done on any particular week. She has seen our reporting that 22 of 32 Montgomery County stores failed price match inspections. She knows customers, which she now is, don't want to pay more than the price marked on the shelf. It has happened to her. I confronted the manager and I said, you know, change. Oh, we're not allowed to do price changes anymore. Not at the register. But the county auditor told me it is the law that prices must match. And he said he believes stores will make the price right. He and Linda Swank made it clear that customers do have options make them make it right. If they don't make it right, don't buy it. You know, go on somewhere else. Back live now. Once again today, we have not received a company response to phone calls and emails we sent asking for a response to this ongoing price matching issue. Now, we are staying in contact with the county auditor and we'll keep you updated as he begins his round of re-inspections at the 22 out of 32 Montgomery County stores that failed their initial price match tests. Reporting live in Kettering, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.